Welcome to an Exosploit tutorial. Please help me by commenting and rating this video. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you about a server, uh, a game server organizer that you can use. Uh, it's a way, in a way like Xfire or uh, the All Seeing Eye if you used that before. But the All Seeing Eye is no longer supported, so if you're looking for an alternative or you just want something to organize your servers, then this is a really good tool to use. It's called HLSW, and right now the current version is 1.2.0.3. So first we're going to download. So you can go to their website, the URL will be in the description, and download the most current version. Or if you want uh, to be safe, you can get the most stable version. But I found the most current version works just fine for me. Download from either of the two links. Save the file. Alright, so now we can install. That's pretty much it now. We're going to have to register an account for them. So to do that, you can just click register and fill out all the information. It doesn't take long at all. Alright, so one thing that's really great about this is say if you were sharing a, uh, a, a key for a game, like the serial, with your friend, you can find uh, servers that don't check for your keys, which is, I mean, really up to you if you want that. So this will, uh, you can get a list now that have servers that don't require key checks. So EPC Gaming is cool for a few games a few popular games right now, so you can go to their index and see if they have any server lists that you would like to add. So we can see that, uh, say we want Call of Duty 4 servers, we'll get the server list for this. Now to download the server list you need to log in. I found a few on bugmenot.com uh, Right now ROFL works for the username and password. For now anyway, it might not be that way for long. If not, you can just register an account, not like it takes too long anyway. Alright, so we can download the uh, working text file. Uh, these include inactive servers, and as you can see, there's a lot of inactive servers, but there's also a lot of active servers. So we'll get the server list that has just the active servers. Just a small text file. That's pretty much all we're going to need to download now. So we're going to make a custom server list for Call of Duty 4. New server list. You can call this whatever you want. Now we're going to import all of these. So just hit Control A and then Control C. Now we're going to uh, multi-server insert. Then by Control V. Give that about 10 seconds to process. This could take a little longer if you're adding a huge server list, but this was about 400, 400 servers, so reasonable amount of time. So now you have your basic uh, server list in here. It'll update all your servers so you can see uh, you can see who's playing on it. You can see the ping, the game, the game score. So you can, uh, if you and your friend get the same server list, you can just say, "All right, let's go to server 86." That'd probably be the easiest way. You can sort them by players. So if you want the server. Now I'll show you about filters. Uh, oh yeah, before I show you about filters, you can add the uh, version number. So 1.7 is the, best, uh, the newest version. 
And you can also have location. So if you want it close to you, so you have uh, less lag, probably. Anti-cheat tool if you want, but uh... Anyway, so I'll show you about filters now, which will be the final thing. We want, uh, we don't want a password. And the timeout, we'll leave that. So all the things that, all the, so all the servers that don't respond won't be in your list. We want this for Call of Duty 4. I don't care about the map or the mod. I don't care about the country. I don't care about the add-ons. Now we want a minimum of two players, we'll say. And a minimum of one free slot. This way we can join, and this way there's at least some action happening. Alright, so we'll call this main. We'll add this and apply. Okay, so now it's going to rearrange uh, these so that all the servers that have people playing on them are here. And then, see there's a pink line here, this means either the ping is it's not responding, see it's timing out, I wouldn't be able to join, or there's no one playing in it, or there's a password on it, so all the good stuff is up here, which there's quite a bit of. This is just the basic walkthrough here on adding servers to your HLSW server client. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment and rate it. And if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Links and additional information will be located in the video description.